Zomba is usually mostly about, not about the moves, about the feeling. And as you just said, it's really important to bring different teachers and different styles, different understandings. And what about your personal understanding of Kizomba, your feelings when you hear the music, when you start dancing? Yes. Okay, uh, you can start again. No, no, you can start. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a little bit like I, like I said before. For me, I like the songs mainly with a with this strong beat on the background because w w then I can really relate to the song, feel that beat and use my movements from one place to another, have fun, small changes, variations, slow parts, quick, changing the, the rhythm. So that is what I really like, feeling the music and that it suits my style of dancing. If the song is too slow, too uh, romantic, then I need to be dancing with the someone that I can relate more, feel that connection. If there's no, if that connection it's not there, then I feel a little bit there's a gap, there's a emptiness in in the dance because I don't. Then it's a struggle between doing what I feel in the song or doing what I would like to be doing. There's a small, small difference there, but uh, that's your style. That's my style. That's what about the question. Regarding teachers or uh, no. what yeah, about your feeling, feeling of the feeling just of the dance of the music? Mm -hmm. just what do you associate it with mostly? So is it communication or connection? It's really getting the connection with the the other person that I'm dancing with and have fun and enjoy. That's romantic, sensu sensu sensual and yeah, it's, I don't know, you can answer, you, you go and then I see if, I, <laughs> if I'm going in the wrong, in the right direction or wrong. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, yeah. what's your style? What's my style? Yeah, what's your style? I don't think I have a, a specific style. I've, I think that uh, when you see um, uh, Zebra Rosa is really good version, really good version when he's doing a Kizomba no Passada, it's just a lot of bouncing and the uh, balloiso, balance, and uh, when you see Afro, Afro Latin connection, they, they have more the Angolan style, still with a lot of new things, they are the ones that bring something new all the time, yeah, they, they, for, for me, these are the six persons that bring something new every time every time we see them they have something new we go to their classes we learn with them we meet with them we talk with them and we use what we get and do our own thing so i don't think i have a particular style like angolan or cap verdian i think it's a mix of things we do what it feels good for us and what uh, makes sense within the music like there are things that we really like in, in some of them, uh, some of the steps that they do. And there are things that we really like and then like, oh, can we use that? And then can we make it like that? So it's not like we are part of the group that brings on new things all the time or invents new things because Kizomba is so new that it's still being invented. It's still coming things. You have the Semba that it's older and you have the Passada and all that, but these people, they are coming with new steps and new ways and explanations and things. We learn from them and we bring what we think that you can use. Into our, into our own stuff. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> and speaking <laughs> about the music, so you, you just mentioned that you're always dancing with the music, inside the music. Um, actually, one of the most popular questions in our culture is, what's this song about? And you just said that you didn't like many of the Angolan songs because of the lyrics. And what are they actually saying, usually? <laughs> 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 now, now, it has, um, now it has changed a lot also, right? Because that was a, that was a point of view of someone that doesn't, didn't really knew the culture, didn't really knew or, or inside the environment. So 
nowadays it's it's different. I like many of the Angolan songs, and actually there's many of them which are amazing. C4 Pedro, for example. I'm sorry. Yeah, there is no words to describe how good many of the songs mm -hmm. that he has, and many other artists, uh, Anselmo Ralph, and there's, it was completely a change. But for example, in that time when I started, when I first hear one of the lyrics that, it, it, when you trans, <laughs> when you translate, <laughs> that it was a bit strange for me was one of the songs where, I think actually it's from Anselmo, which mm -hmm. I which I love now, right? <laughs> Actually, the lyrics was something like saying, um, I smell well, or I smell good. You smell good? You smell good? So why don't we... Why do we dance <laughs> far away? Why do so, so translating it to Portuguese straight was like, I smell well, you smell well, so why not dance glue to each other? This doesn't sound good. <laughs> so, yeah, so at that time, some of the lyrics were a little bit like, nowadays it's different. Nowadays I, yeah, there's still some small things that instead of thinking that before, oh, that's stupid, now I think that's fun. No, that's but funny. Still, <laughs> so. it's not just the angle. To keep writing and can yeah, come yeah, with yeah, some funny can, stuff too. Yeah, they can come with some yeah. nice lyrics. But um, normally the... In Kizoma songs, you're always talking about you're talking about love, you're talking about uh, desire and passion, and yeah, how much you like the girl or, <laughs> or, or, the, boy. or the boy. And uh, Norm is always in a good uh, mood. It's always in a positive. Uh, it's not, for example, if, if I think more about bachata, many of the songs is like oh. You betrayed me, or I'm so sad, and uh, lost love, and yeah. wrong love. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. Sorrows. 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 Something like that. In Kizom is more always in the. It's like something new, like new passion, new love. Uh, mm -hmm. How crazy I am about you, and all this kind of stuff. And what about Simba? Because it's always something about like playing tricks on someone or just making fun and uh, just the lyrics for example the song by Ari yeah. Between You I don't know what it is Between You yeah what Betinho. does it mean it bet yeah Between You is a um, uh, kind of it's a man that uh, is very uh, he looks very cautious he looks very yeah, he has a lot nice of nice clothes and he really takes he care yeah. of uh, He's the always nice and all that, but in the song he looked like it, but he wasn't. So Is it betting the one where he, he, he hits, hits her? her? Yeah. <laughs> yeah <exactly. laughs> if you see the video clip, yeah, Normally that's what she's singing about. It's exactly the, the it's exact yeah. uh, mm -hmm. story. Normally it's not like uh, the video clip is doing something and she's singing about something else. No, she she. Uh, he's so nice and he loves her so much and he's so nice. and then she went to the party with her friends and he didn't like and then he it hit her. And then she kicks him out and all that. It's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> normally, Simba, it's always uh, telling a story. And normally, mm -hmm. it's a story related to the country and something that actually it's part of what goes on in many it's situations. Like, like a piece of news, like flash news. Yeah. Is like taking a, something that is typical in the culture and putting it into, into the music. Like... Uh, for example, this, call, this song Kandunga is, is uh, telling about the day of a taxi driver. How he goes from one place to another, how warm it is, and uh, that he has to go and rush from one side to another in the traffic. And oh, I just yeah. <laughs> this. There's this. Some other one that was uh, Sexta Feira, which is really nice. That is, yeah, saying, uh, okay, now the. The week, the, is week done. the week is finished, now it's Friday. Let's party. Let's uh, all get together, have fun and party and yeah. It's always it's always fun and yeah. good mood and make or making fun or even criticizing something in the government or in the some problems. Political in songs. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. So what? Political songs. Yes, sometimes sometimes there's also some some political background. 
And for you personally, what's the most um, pleasant thing to dance to? Is it Tarasinha, Kizomba, Semba? We have different answers to that. Okay. Yeah, for me, it's uh, as I said, Kizomba and Semba. If I'm dancing Semba, then then I have fun no matter what. It, it's like almost in the, of course, normally my, 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 normally my lead, yeah, yeah. <laughs> normally the, my lead is, if the lady knows at least uh, more or less, it's, she, I will be able to, to lead what I want and I will always have fun. There's not so much about the connection, it's more about having fun, doing some tricks. It's always fun, independent. The connection. If it's kizomba, yeah, also the same. I, with, if it has this strong beat and I'm listening to the song and I'm loving it, if it's too slow, it depends on the person. And yeah, really depends on the person. And Terrasinha? Terrasinha, even more. They like too slow and uh, Terrasinha is like, I, I don't do Terrasinha with uh, almost. I think we dance to Rashini sometimes, and not, uh, that often. not that often. So um, I will always do some Rashini moves, but dancing only to Rashini, that's still not my, the not my thing. <laughs> if I may just interrupt <laughs> you for a second. Uh, we've heard from one of the Angolan guys that actually they dance to Rashini just with their girlfriends, wives, so mm -hmm. it's not like Mm, allowed to dance with someone. If you are single, then yes, because also you are, for example, in Portugal, if you go to one of the clubs which is more uh, underground. And not underground or more where you have many African dancers, if you go there and you do not know the people, for example, Ondian in, uh, Lisbon. in Lisbon, in Portugal, you have Bar It's a big club. You have two, two main clubs. You have Barrio Latino, where it's more Latin people. And then everybody asks everybody and everybody accepts and more or less. If you go to one and you go like one or two persons, or especially boys. I go with two or three boys. We don't know the girls and we invite girls to dance. They will almost for sure say no. Because they will assume immediately that you are going to dance to Rashini. And want and they something only else. And want something else. So they will only dance in the group that they are that they came together so they know more or less each other or they are the friends of friends yeah. so they will dance in groups so to dance with someone which is not from that group it's either because you are interested so yeah, if you ask her and she says yes then it's probably because she also fancies you or she but, but if you ask for kizomba not tarashinya or samba it's still it the same it's it's because you will not say uh shall we dance i will only dance uh, <laughs> you will not, because the music is playing. I promise. <laughs> I promise exactly. So, so it's not. You will say, shall, shall we dance? Or would you like to dance? And she will probably know. So, and for uh, for example, then if if you are sometimes it's funny to see, especially in the. With, yeah, I will not say that. So let's forget that part. But it's funny to see that when uh, when they when some couples go and they have their girlfriends or wives. They only dance with her, and then if another day they go and the wife stays at home, then they are dancing with everybody. So, uh, like, yeah, yeah, I'm free, so now I can do. So it is a little bit like that, yes. When it comes to Rashin, dance only with uh, someone that you are, that you know, and that you that you know that you know that yeah. you have some relationship. That you know it's not going beyond that or whatever. Is it my turn now? This is with everybody. I, I never say no to dance. I think it's important not as an instructor, but as a dancer to dance with as many pe persons as possible. But there's boundaries, of course. There's not like that. Anyway, I think it's important to dance with the different people. And uh, I am of that personal opinion that girls don't ask boys to dance. Sorry, I know that there's a lot of ladies that do and I don't complain about that. I think it's okay if they want to do it. But in this dance, as it's such a, a leader and follower dance, 
uh, don't feel that it's okay for me to go and ask a boy, hey, do you want to lead me? I think the boy needs to have that desire. So I always wait, also it almost ends. Like I dance with everybody, yes, but compared to you, I don't dance that much in parties because people don't ask me to dance. So, but anyway, uh, the music that I like to dance most to is the ones that you can play with the rhythm. I know you can do musicality in most songs, but uh, like the show you guys did yesterday, I thought it was beautiful the way you played with the music. To make it the quicks and the slows and to mix it, that is the way I like to dance the most. So it was very beautiful. I was very happy when I saw your show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So this was Kizomba DK again, especially for Kizomba BY. Yes. Okay. And uh, <laughs> keep dancing Kizomba. Yes. It's uh, it's, good. it's the best thing in life. <laughs> <laughs> almost so, the best thing almost, in life. Almost. There's yes. One thing about. <laughs> Hoje meu corpinho tem que pegar Senta, senta, reza Importante é que meu corpinho tem que pegar Senta, reza, senta, reza Hoje meu corpinho tem que pegar Senta